next one I want to do it's add a little bit more live kind of maybe some contrast and other stuff to this scenery so we'll go um, let me go select first right here I see some mask I may need a rework okay so let me go inside the mask effect I'll go select black brush let's reduce and I'm just going right slightly on the edge to remove it okay, just okay so again you can leave it or in this case I kind of don't like how it's come up okay so we'll go to Okay, we probably with the resolution we're going, it won't be any big problem, but I just don't like it how they come up here. Okay, and like right here we're losing some details, so let's switch to white and actually add, paint those details in right here. So sometimes you need to reduce or add properly to the edges and you can do only um, quite a bit with the masking but you still in the end almost always go by hand and kind of modifying or fixing some stuff. And again, um, most what we're doing right now, because we go to reduce some scale, this is won't be even visible at all, but I just want to be sure it's look good because I will know it's here. Okay, actually on this one, I needed to reduce. So we'll go right here. Okay, and just going over edges. What's happening if you don't clean up edge, you will have it hard to integrate it to your scenery and after you kind of cannot figure out why it doesn't look that real. Here we need it. Switch and add. And currently, right do this is kind of hard in some. Actually. Drag wrong thing, so let me extend it right here. If you don't use it mask, you can actually take clone tool and go by the edge and clean up with the clone tool, which is work as well as um, also on the edge.
mostly I'm looking for this type because here is a kind of will be too much popping up in ice we have it kind of white and certainly dark outline that will be kind of stand out quite a bit again I'm not destroying image which is nice we just work on uh, slightly adjustment we can take mask and shrink probably by one two pixel that is another way to do it so we can take um, mask fed ring and just uh, readjust this way but I'm just started so I want to do go this way okay and I also notice right here we have it kind of losing information so let me switch and just add no it's fine it's just reflection okay let's go look on this side okay right here we have it small coloring problems because how lights was applied this look a little bit better okay, right here this edge it's what kind of I'm more worried about We have a slightly color bleeding, that's why we have this like was a flag, the red ones. We'll leave it those ones, it's this kind of some add somewhat fuzziness to the head, this edge. on a button I see kind of need to come bring back this roundness Okay, so right there's a ear. Okay, I think we almost end right here in our quest for the masking. Okay, let me increase slightly the size. Okay, let's go ahead right now, um, create new layer. And what I want to do actually, I want to add, bring a little bit more in the eyes. To do this, it's kind of nice if we work with a contrast. Actually, to do this, let's do create um, contrast level. So we'll go to the curves. We'll bring a little bit contrast. So let me see to the eyes. Okay, so right here, next I'm going to control I on the um, 
I'll click on the mask control I so we inverse and with a brush soft brush set so I'm going to paint in right here with the eyes so we'll bring a little bit more of the contrast kind of it is a little bit harder because we have the hair on the front of our eyes but we can bring the eyes a little bit closer in so you can see just slightly increased contrast so it's slightly sharpness in some case you can see um, this little bit better overall it's techniques if you start working but um, just same add contrast bring in and start painting on eyes so your eyes will start popping up kind of quite a bit nicely so this is the eyes the next we'll go with the depth we'll layer we'll go to edit fill and we'll just fill with the 50 percent gray we'll go set this to the soft light okay as well you can see how model so we'll go alt and be sure it is just a layer properly so they're all kind of related okay we'll take right here this layer and start painting between black and white kind of darker or lighter again depend 15 probably will be okay in this case okay let me turn off ends okay right here we'll go to increase maybe a bit and i'm just going to paint a couple place you see right here how these um very hard so we want to actually make it softer so just slightly adding kind of emphasize on some areas it's give it a little bit more dimension I don't want to touch under eyes actually I want to remove this so we'll do with the white after okay, okay same things um, let's look very fast we can add also to the head maybe a little bit hair and we'll put better highlights in the hair in a second okay let's go okay move right here okay and just the same things um only on uh, clothes so we'll bring emphasize more on the darker areas so we have these kind of highlights. Okay, let's do the hand till we here. A little bit more darker. So overall, it's kind of when you have a shadow, so the way you think it's going, we're kind of increasing, making it look. Like right here, you know, on, on lines, make it look a little bit darker okay so we'll go this is nice code it also have this problem with the color right here you can see kind of Give it nice reflection but also give it this rainbow effect and we could remove but i think i will just leave it on so let's give it interesting effect as well so let's bring right here a bit more darkness ok 
okay right here again add more and it's maybe every small every this small kind of torch doesn't look so dramatic but it is at every small um, effect will take your page take time take patience and painting in all the small details so it's a take time but it will provide very nice result okay so next we'll go select white we'll just do same with white and right here I want a little bit highlight under eyes and also right here with the whites on the eyes so let's bring this whites a little bit higher so let's give it us this cheeks okay, so here you can see kind of close just slightly up and I'll go right here add just go over white lines very fast so I'll add a little bit more Again, sometimes you maybe want to spend even more time just go over and sometimes when you work with a kind of production you maybe want to even step away spend some time come back afterwards and you look totally different on this picture so you'll find more stuff that you think should be done and that is okay because that's what we do we just go inside find details look on this from different angle and find something else to do so you almost never want to finish okay so we'll do right here maybe it's a little bit softer okay so right here you can see we're done um just enhance some details okay, pop up a little bit better on the eyes more increase three dimensional so um, next what I want to do it is add some highlights to the hair okay we'll go create um, curves and I'm just going to pop up this curve right up we'll go to soft light okay until we select the control I to inverse and we'll just use it white Yeah. So you can see slightly applying this um, kind of highlights with burning in. Okay. Okay. So let's um, also work a little bit more on the skin. Give it this someone glance through a look so for that one actually i'm going to control shift e it will take merge all of them together i will go select by color range again okay let's say fastenest and i'm select right here on the side so what i want to actually select skin tone right here okay create new mask okay and next what I want to do in this one I go filter 
blur and we'll go to gauge blur so we'll set probably maybe around three two let's click ok when we select on the mask control i to inverse so it will go over just the face and we'll go modify this even a little bit more so we'll go to set to the soft light okay here okay. so you can see it's at kind of gringy effect a little bit so let's bring this all the way down just slightly add okay so right here you can see we're just popping up a little bit more smoothness right in those areas So again we can increase this but I want to just keep it down right now and after when we start work more inside the image increase them and see if they bring a little bit more interesting effect um, so I'm going to create two new layers control shift alt e select two of them group we'll go to overlay we'll go to create sharpness again and we'll go to vivid light on top one control i inverse okay and I will go to filter blur and we'll go to use its surface blurriness. You'll notice it will add quite a bit details. I don't want details on the skin. So what are we going to do right here? Create new filter or new mask. We'll go bring in and you can see it's add all this grinchy that I don't want it. So we'll select reverse tool. Oops, increasing and I'm starting pop up and remove the sharpness from the face so right here I don't want it so I want to keep it some on the eyes okay maybe on the middle on the hair but not on my skin so I'll just remove it a little bit more leave it on the lips okay let me see yeah just leave it like this one Okay, let me click on the mask okay maybe even higher so remove for sure from the skin so the skin become smoother and nice okay let's go to hand and right here as well Okay, you can notice we have a nice look with this filter on give it this extra details like right here so it's look kind of sharper right like right here details but again I don't want this mess up with the skin tone so just masking and applying to that okay so we'll continue next part right now